Hi everybody! Today we're here in Pigeon Forge and we're here at the Hard Rock Cafe. Now we were here six years ago and we didn't have such a good experience with the food. Of course the atmosphere is always really cool in a Hard Rock. But today we're going to go in there and try it out, see if things have changed. You ready Dawn? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. Today we're here at the Hard Rock Cafe in Pigeon Forge. It's been a while since we, we've been here. and he seated us where the box stars sit. And this is a stage where we're at. And he was saying that Journey, Journey actually performed right here and also uh, the surviving members of um, The Temptations have also performed on this stage. And we're actually, well, we're on the stage. Well, here's their menu. They have the classic nachos, which are $13. That's normally what I get. They also have a one night at Bangkok, spicy shrimp. They've got wings. They also have legendary steak burgers. Of course, they're known for their burgers here, guys. And they're ranging about $16.95 to $22.50 for the double decker one, which I think is a massive, massive burger. They also have baby back ribs, which is $27. They have a New York steak, which is $30. They also have Twisted Mac and Cheese, which I heard a lot of great things about the mac and cheese. That's 20. Of course, they have salads and, and sandwiches. And here's just some of the pictures, of some of the things they got here. They also got a steak salad. They have cheesy spring rolls, all-American sliders, and a onion ring tower. They have a surf and turf, barbecue cheeseburger, and an impossible burger, too. They also have a smokehouse combo grilled Norwegian salmon and they have two sandwiches they have a grilled chicken sandwich and a pulled pork ranging about $16 one of the things that they're known for here is their signature cocktails and their hurricane glasses of course they they got different types here um, ranging about 10 to $13 they have jam sessions they have the Hard Rock Cafe lemonade I also have a hot fudge brownie. That looks pretty good. Of course, we're alternative rock, so we get like Coca Cola, um, strawberry, basil, lemonade. Hard Rock Cafe is just more than food, it's actually an experience. They got memorabilia from all kinds of, well, famous rock artists, creators, and there's a lot to do here. It's a lot more than just food. The dining room here is very unique. Of course, when you're sitting with like Hootie and the Blowfish's guitar or Meatloaf's jacket or Prince's purple jacket, it's definitely an experience. Uh, they have everything from Gene Simmons' guitar to uh, Taylor Swift's, well, dress. Just very unique. We got some Diet Cokes. I thought it's a cold and lonely and deep dark night. I can see a paradise by the dashboard light. Woody and the Blowfish's guitar up there. They got a shirt worn by Hank Williams. They also have Taylor Swift's pink dress. That Chargers uniform was worn by Katy Perry. This Les Paul, owned by Leonard Skinnerd. Look at that. They got 
ZZ Top's guitar up there in the corner. Here's a little tribute to Eric Clapton. Got his vest and a guitar in here. This here is by far super cool. Buddy Holly and the Crickets. It's old Buddy Holly's long sleeve shirt there and they have Roy Orbison's guitar just sitting off to the side there. Got Amy Grant up there, recognized. They got a suit worn by Ronnie Millsap. They also have Chet Aiken's guitar and Johnny Guitar Watson. Michael Jackson's sequence stretch pants worn on stage by the King of Pop while he was on tour with the Jacksons. Madonna wore these jeans on stage in 1989 and was pictured on a cover of People magazine wearing them. They even have a little Tanya Tucker. Elvis and Priscilla Presley. Johnny Cash. <laughs> you can't be here in the Smokies unless you have a little Dolly Parton. And here's a dress worn by Dolly. Uh, pictured wearing it on the back cover of the 1977 tour program. It smells good in here. I can yes. smell the food. The, the food smells really good. I can smell the barbecue sauce they have on their, um, on yes. their ribs. Yes, definitely. Of course, you're surrounded by all this. Oh, well, here it comes now. <laughs> There's the sliders down. And then the nachos. All right. And here's my nachos. Look at that. So it's got jalapenos. It's got onion. It's got little pieces of steak throughout. It smells really good. Um, and what did you get, Don? I got the sliders. It's a hamburger with like an onion ring on it. So they're here, guys. Look at this. Wow. The smell is really, really good, actually. Um, I ordered the sliders and a side of fries with it. Um, it has onions and coleslaw on it. Coleslaw. It's got a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor? Mm -hmm. uh, they got a little tub of sour cream here. When I was younger, I used to be a Hard Rock Cafe condensor. I've actually been to many different Hard Rocks uh, all over. The one in New York, the one in Orlando, of course, the one in Gatlinburg, which is not there, but it's here now in Pigeon Forge. I've been to the one in Toronto, the one in Detroit, uh, the one in Niagara Falls. Oh gosh, uh, I've been to the one in Chicago. So my nachos are kind of sweet. They've got a sweet taste to them. You see the sweet taste? Yeah, what is that? It's, a bean? Yeah, it's different. And it's a little bit it's a spicy bean. at the same time. I don't think you were liking that. It's like your face. You were like... You, I think it was a bean, though. <laughs> it's sweet, but yet spicy. I think um, it is beans on there. Yeah. What I'm looking at? It's got a lot of scallions on it. Uh, the steak is medium. I would say the steak is medium well. Mickey Burger. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got coleslaw, uh, onion rings, and melted cheese. Oh, wow. So you're liking it, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, mine has got some unique flavors that I've never really had before in nachos. Uh, but it's been good. Uh, it's definitely got a fresh, like, feel and taste to it. Don ordered a side of fries there. Look at that. They're definitely Yukon and they look pretty golden. 
Dawn gave me one of her mini burgers. It's got an onion ring on it. The cheese. Of course, I'm gonna squish it down. I'm gonna see what this is about. It is very juicy. The burger is actually really good. Uh, it's got the right amount of cheese on it. Uh, crunch. The, the, the bun has been toasted just perfectly. The coleslaw uh, gives it like a, a little bit of a different flavor, but good. The onion ring really set it off. Believe it or not, it's actually really good. Don's American sliders were $14.95. My beef nachos were $18.99. Uh, the side of fries was five dollars. Uh, the cokes were three eighty nine, and our total was fifty one seventy four. And they actually circled the gratuity down here. Uh, I've never seen that before, but anyways, this is the uh, the bill here, and fifty one seventy four. Hard Rock Cafe is known for their. Their t-shirts, probably more iconic than the restaurants themselves. They also have a, a face mask. There's Dawn, you're gonna look at some of the, the t-shirts. So we got a Smoky Mountain one. That's really interesting. It's an old like military pigeon forge. What'd you get? Oh, a little Christmas, huh? So we're back here in the Jeep and it's review time. So guys, Hard Rock Cafes is a, it's an institution for music lovers. You know, it's got memorabilia that can't ever be remade or replaced. Um, and so this review here is a really hard review for us, I would say. And so first, I guess what we're gonna talk about is uh, the atmosphere. Of course, I think the atmosphere is probably the number one reason why folks come here. The biggest thing is I don't know where you put a value um, on like the atmosphere. Uh, some places they do have an atmosphere like Sunliner Diner. You can go down there, you can set an old 57 uh, Chevy or an old car. Uh, there's actually probably some value to it. So I don't know where you put that on. I guess that's the big thing with a lot of these places. So let's get to the food. Um, I had the nachos and I was getting this weird sweet taste I think it was coming from the beans <laughs> beans. Um, beans yeah and so I don't know but it just kind of turned it off I kind of end up picking through it the good parts uh, I paid six dollars extra for the steak there wasn't much steak on there, there was only a few small crumbles of steak throughout um, so ultimately, I, I just didn't enjoy the nachos. I know you had some of the nachos. What'd you think? I wasn't liking it. I, the beans are too sweet. There wasn't that much nachos. They had a couple of like fresh green peppers on there, but then the jalapenos were canned. Yeah. So the canned jalapeno. Yeah, and it was eighteen dollars for chips, and the chips weren't that good of a quality. Um, so I, I don't like to complain, but it wasn't awful. It just just didn't it have it thing, for the value. I mean, it was twenty dollars almost. So now let's get to your uh, burgers. What did I you ordered think? sliders and then a side of fries on the side of that. The slider was actually good flavor. It had onion ring. The bun was toasted. The hamburger meat was good, and then the coats on the bottom just gave it a little more a kick. Yeah, I actually had one of her burgers, and actually that was really good. I mean, it was really, really. Actually, really, really good, and it was cheaper than the nachos. I think you were like at fourteen plus dollars. And then French fries are French fries. French fries were actually good too. Mm -hmm. They were like Yukons, and they were cooked all the way through. There wasn't like no rawness or nothing. It was really good they all the cooked. way through. They yes. were warm, hot. Yeah. So we had a good experience with that. So the food ain't horrible. We paid like fifty-one dollars plus the tip. We were up over sixty-one dollars on this, and um, I don't. The, that's a lot of money for just the lunch, guys. A lot of money, don't you think? Mm -hmm. uh, so the value, I think, is like way beyond. But where do you put value on the atmosphere, right? So if you decided like 20 plus dollars of that, 
is atmosphere, then I guess it wasn't super bad of a deal, you know? Um, if I was down at like a normal restaurant and I got a bill for uh, some nachos and, and a hamburger, you know, for, for $60 out the door, I think I'd be upset. Um, now, there's also steakhouses in the area uh, that we've done reviews on that you could be out the door for about, you know, 50 six, bucks. 60 bucks too, and you're gonna get a whole steak out of the deal. So, yes. So, I guess we get down to that one question. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, Dawn, uh, would you do the Hard Rock Cafe again? Well, at those prices, I don't know if we can afford to do that again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was actually so guys like I said uh, the food was uh, You know mediocre uh, at least you know uh, Hard Rock Cafe is known for its atmosphere Maybe not so much as the food uh, Definitely their merch was really cool. In fact, their merch is awesome. I actually fell in love with that little pin I didn't get it. I'm gonna think about it because I can come back here whenever I want uh, But yes, this was actually and and this is what we've been getting a lot. They're saying well Dawn, you know, there's a, it's a lot of places you go to expensive. We spent 40 uh, plus dollars for some pancakes the other day and <laughs> made me really start thinking, you know, we do live in a tour, tourist town. We do live in a tourist area. I, I, you got to remember there's high rents on these places. Some of these places are paying $20,000 a month just for rent. That's a lot of pancakes you got to throw out the door or a lot of hamburgers before you can even claim a red cent uh, for yourself. But um, yeah, so it's a very unique scenario here. Now we do know of some uh, local places. We are gonna start getting into those, but our goal right now is just to do all the restaurants. Um, uh, we will have a series coming up called Cheap Eats here in, in the Smokies. Definitely stay tuned to that. Uh, we're actually working on that series right now, but guys, that's gonna be it for today. Here, Island Pigeon Forge, and if you like this vlog, also please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thank you.